So guys, we are going to do a little story about coronavirus because some people are really confused and maybe even worried. And I think we can do a story about coronavirus together and get to know who coronavirus is. So this is how the story goes. Hello. I am a virus. Cousins with the flu and the common cold. My name is Coronavirus. Do you know the names of any other viruses, guys? Did you know that a cold is a virus? And the flu is a virus? Did you ever get a cold or a flu? What happens when you get a cold? You get a runny nose and you sneeze. Achoo! And when you get the flu, you feel really tired and achy and horrible. And you have to sleep a lot and you have to drink lots of water, don't you? Coronavirus loves to travel. In fact, coronavirus has been all around the world in nearly every country, all over the place. Italy, Spain, China, America. Can you think of any other countries that coronavirus might have been to? Have you been to any of those countries? And the other thing about coronavirus is it likes to jump all over the place. So think about our warm up when we were painting Coronavirus likes to spread everywhere that you touch, like paint, if you get loads of paint on your hands and you touch everywhere. So coronavirus can spread all over the place because it doesn't like being lonely. He likes to have lots of friends. Have you heard about coronavirus? I bet you have. And how do you feel when you hear my name? Are you relaxed, hmm, confused, worried, curious, nervous, or sad. I would say I am a little bit nervous and curious about coronavirus. I can understand that you feel curious and nervous. Can you guys draw a picture about how you feel about coronavirus? And he says, I would feel the same way. Sometimes adults get worried when they read the news or see me on TV. Look, he's watching himself on the TV and he's saying, that's me. That's what I'd do if I was on the TV. But I am going to explain myself so you can understand. Well, thank you, coronavirus, because I think we are all very confused. When I come to visit, I bring difficulty breathing, a fever, that's when you feel really hot or really, really cold, a cough, <coughs> do you know how to cough properly? Can you cough into your elbow? <coughs> Very good. But I don't stay with people for long. And almost everyone gets better. Oh, phew. Just like when you get a scrape on your knee and it heals. Oh, look, he has to go bye-bye. Bye-bye, coronavirus. Get out of here. So don't you worry. The adults who take care of you. Oh, there's a little space. Maybe you should say what their names are. Who are the adults who take care of you? 
Is it your mommy and your daddy? Is there other people that take care of you? Maybe there's some people that take care of you that you haven't seen for a while, like your granny or your granddad. And that's because we don't want to spread the virus into their house or all over their walls. And we don't want to make anyone sick, do we? The adults who take care of you will keep you safe. Oh, that's good. And you can help. What, well, me? You can wash your hands with soap and water while singing a song. Do you guys have a favourite song that you sing when you wash your hands? Because it should be 20 seconds. So you can sing the happy birthday song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rachel. Happy birthday to me. I like to make the end bit extra long. I wonder how long you can sing it for. Or the alphabet song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q or S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you play with me? Or you can use hand sanitizer. If you have any hand sanitizer left in your house now, you are probably very lucky because it's very hard to get. So you have to put the hand sanitizer all over your hands and your wrists, and then without moving, them, you have to count to ten. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lift off! And then when your hands are dry, you can get back to playing. And if you do all that, I will not come to visit. Hmm. That's a good way of keeping coronavirus out of your house and out of your body. And the doctors will work to find a vaccine that will allow me to say hi without getting you sick. Well, that would be good. I think that's a good idea. That's the end of the story. Hey, coronavirus, you stole my coffee. Give it back. <laughs>